Be loaded? Yeah. Right. Hey, what is up? We are live at GDC. I'm hanging out with Paul. He's going to show me Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded. That's hard to say when you're all sick and gross. First look at it right here. What are we looking at? Uh, so this is the, certain, the uh, Sturgeon General's warning. <laughs> Every Leisure Suit Larry game has always had these adult questions, you know, to prevent you know, younger people from playing them. Right, right. So, I mean, when I, I remember when I was beta testing Leisure Suit Larry, I had to ask my mother the questions. Yeah. And she oh, man. Why, oh, man. Know? Yeah, exactly. Right. So uh, we kept a tradition, and we put the, uh, the, the questions in there. Fantastic. So, you know, they ask how old you are. If you hit over 100, it says uh, you're a liar. No. Oh. And we leave you out of the game. Okay. All right, okay. great. Under 15 or 16 to 18, we don't let you play the game. Yeah. I haven't actually hit those numbers yet, so I don't know what happens. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to be booted out and restart the whole thing. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm always honest. So, <laughs> please verify some simple questions. Your permanent record is... Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't even know the other thing. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know the... Uh, Oh, yeah. uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Which does is also the most from all places. You know, Sahara. There we go. Before we came in, Bruce Willis was. Ooh. Was he? Oh, yeah. nice. All right. I ate his kidney with some fava beans. And there we go. Yeah, you know, I can't think of it. There we go. This these is a dance. <laughs> Ocarina. Yep, yep. Okay, so we're successful. All right, now Otherwise, we can play the video game. You told me something really interesting before we started recording. This is not. It's, it's, this is not just a uh, a port and an updated visual look. This is basically a brand new game. You got it new is. puzzles, new art style, obviously. Yeah, and I mean all the puzzles are new. I mean the Kickstarters really just went, just kept hitting all these different. They call them stretch goals now, but yeah. when we had it, you know they didn't call them stretch goals because there was like no name. Right, we were literally right. the third game. First it was Tim's Tim Schafer's game. Right. Then it was right. Brian Fargo's game. Then our game. You know. Right. So they didn't. There wasn't like the sophisticated oh, stretch goals. It wasn't like you don't plan ahead. Right, like yeah, you just hope yeah. to God you meet the finish line. Right, we'll see what happens. <laughs> right, so they so we added every all the dialogue is all new. Um, in 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 the iTablet version, in the, in the iTab, iPad version, and the phone versions, um, it's uh, sixteen by nine. I'm sorry, um, what is it? What is it? It's sixteen, 16 by, by nine for the iPhone five, and like right. four three, four, four by three for these yeah. exactly. Yeah. But um, all the gameplay happens on the screen, so you're not missing anything. Right, right. Um, and then after the game is released, we'll come out with like um, like the voice pack for it. Oh, cool. Um, I mean, because cool. the game's like uh, like a gigabyte already. Right. Sorry. So huge. The, voice, the voice pack is just gonna be another gig. Right. So right. we don't want you know people to sit there for uh, like twenty minutes to download the game. Yeah, right. quite a bit of lines too. That's something else we were talking about pre exactly. video. Exactly. Everybody a lot freshly of new cast, except you know La uh, Larry, who's Jan Rapson, who played. Yeah. Lucy Larry in seven and six, and that's what the fans really demanded. Oh, really? Okay. So they got an extra girl as well. Her name's Jasmine. We did a Reddit, and everybody in the room wanted an Asian girl. So we're like, okay, she's gonna be Asian, you know? Cool. And that's pretty much the only thing we revealed so far is that she's Asian and her name's Jasmine. Okay. All right. Well, let's start a new game. We won't show too much of the game, folks. For those of you who are worried about spoilers, about ten minutes. We'll talk about the game generally. We'll do our best. Awesome. Playing on an iPad too, and uh, it's probably good to remember this is a dev build. So if anything crazy happens, if it looks a little slow, it won't be like that in the final version. So um, we start off. There's going to be a tutorial before uh, the game, um, you know, telling you who you are and like how you wound up there. So um, you've arrived in a beautiful Las Vegas without luggage. The airline lost it without a hotel reservation. You forgot to get one, and without a clue, you've never had one. <laughs> You exit the cab, the hot air, dry air of lost weight just hits you in the face like a dead heart, like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. All right, after the cab ride, you may, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. You're in town to find true love. And if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still a verb, still untouched <laughs> by human hands. And that's the, uh, the narrator in the blue right there. Look out, ladies, I'm finding love tonight. So, the interface, we're using a plugin called Easy GUI. Um, oh, nice. So, you can either do that to get the icons. Um, right. Let's say we want to take he's, he's pushing down on the iPad to kind of bring up a radial. Oh, yeah, I've got to realize we got to tell them, actually. So, um, yeah, whenever you push down, the radial menu should pop up. Uh, I actually looked, so, so it gives us a response. And it's contextualized too. That might be why you're bumping up against again dev build, folks. Yeah, this is this is uh, early alpha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you don't want to do that, then you can. Use oh, one bring of, up the old school bar. Exactly. Nice. And here's your inventory. Um, you know, you've got some money. 
Well, it's ninety-four dollars, and you've got Lipstream, I think. So that's inventory. Um, again, we can do this. Lefty's bar, according to Chad, when he was working at, at Destructoid, um, said that he did like a famous bars in all the video games, and yeah. he named Lefty's as the most famous bar in all of video game history. So we were kind of kind of proud by that. Um, so if we got to walk over here. Um, we'll get killed by Bruiser. Okay, all right. Because you're not supposed to go over here without... Uh... Now, he'll obviously be, you know, colored in, <laughs> in the final version. But... Right, right. <laughs> and just as punishing as the old school version too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it, it, if you take a quick look at the fence back there, every single piece of graffiti is an ACDC song. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. That's pretty cool. And this is how Larry gets resurrected. Uh, there were a lot of mistakes made in the original game, where um, you know we were breaking ground in terms of designing adventure games. Right. So we were really bad at it. So we right. put a lot of dead ends in there. You know, where they even after they save their game. So yeah. that's pretty much the only thing that we fixed, right, was right. no dead ends. Which is very important. Yeah, I think so too. You definitely don't want to hit that brick wall. Right. So we should start out outside lefties again. I even like that touch right there. What? The uh, the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's if you remember from Luis and Larry 1, there was, was a, that, was that there was in a there Larry too? factory. Oh, man, I yeah. totally... Yeah. Space in it. It's been a while. So there's... um. You know, if you remember, if anybody remembers from the old school, the original Larry, uh, you can, there was like a window over here. Oops. Oh, a little crash. Yeah. Live video, folks. Not a problem. Um, if you walk over to the right, uh, you know, there's a pill bottle on the uh, window ledge. Yeah. And uh, you can get to it. You can get the pills. You're supposed to do something with it. Spanish fly, right? So um, in this version, uh, we, you know, you can't you can't do that because we make every puzzle is different. Mm. They wanted to break basically the uh, the walkthrough. Yeah. Nice, you're killing it over here. So we actually, I'm. I don't know this one. I think it's a oh, damn. oh no, you're a kid. <laughs> you're a kid. <laughs> okay. Again, <laughs> so embarrassing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is great. I I, I always love those questions. Um, there there was one I saw recently where it asked you basically what was a VCR tape, right? Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Is there a way that maybe you could skip this in the future? Like, are you guys thinking about um, that? We haven't ha decided if we're going to do that on the uh, on the iOS and Android devices. Right. Um, we can't. You can on the PC. Yeah. And there's like a, it's like I think Control Alt X on the PC. Oh, and we haven't okay. decided if we're going to keep that in or not. Right. So right. yeah. Um, there we go. Oof. Any idea? Paris Hilton, maybe? I tried that one. I got it wrong. Uh, Jessica Simpson. How about okay. that? Oh, Boom. Good All right. job. There you go. Dog uh, Pile, I find it out. Probably Dog, Dog Pile, Pile was. Oh, it was? Yeah, it was. Okay. Trailer Parks. All right, this is the big one, right? You got to get it right. All right, we are back in <laughs> to Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> It's, it, I like the stuff you're doing with the interface. Obviously, it's not the old text yeah. parser, but it's also kind of an updated version of the point and click. Yeah, which is neat. I mean, radial menus, that menu you and have right there. And we're not even done with using Easy GUI yet either. I mean, we're, right. we're still like so many tweaks we're, we're making. Yeah, I want to show you guys the inside of the bar. Yeah, let's see the uh, inside of the bar. Like so, Sam and developer and I you know, made a game. There's so every single thing is so detailed. We have a unique answer for every single icon and everything in the game is clickable with every icon wow, and you staggering. get a unique response for every single icon and everything that's clickable. Yeah. So you imagine the exponential value of all the narration that goes on, right? right and that's right. why there are so many lines in the game. Right. And when we were doing the voiceover, uh, I mean, everybody in the in the control booth was laughing their ass off. Right, like, right. Holy shit, how can this be this funny, you know? <laughs> right, right. And I mean, half the lines I haven't even seen. So oh, I don't really? Even know what they were referring to. Yeah, totally. 
I mean, I, I've spent over an hour and a half on just these four rooms, like outside the bar and upstairs. Yeah, yeah. just hanging out. Just, just, yeah, just to read, like, all the, uh, you know. Yeah, I like how you celebrate the fact that it was a point-and-click adventure as opposed to just kind of uh, redo it, you know? Yeah. Like, you see a lot of these games just kind of go more action-y route or something like that, but you're you're actually kind of embracing what it was and kind of doubling down on that. Well, because we have Al Lowe and Josh Mandel, who basically created this type of adventure game, right. you know, along with, along with, you know, Tim and Ron um, that were doing it over at LucasArts. So, yeah. I mean, they're, you know, they, they just want to um, bring that same style and feel, you know, to this generation of, you know, gamers that are now anywhere between 25 and 55. Right, right. So... Um, so we're looking at the girl here. So we have a zipper icon. Oh boy. So this is the taste icon or lick icon or sniff icon. Right. Um, which is that one, right? Oops. Because I'm, I'm pointing to it, but the people watching this are not going to know, yeah. right? Yeah, he's so actually the, hitting it. Yeah, right. So there's the taste icon, and we're going to click on her. Okay, so for her, it was a smell. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's start again. So you even have multiple lines of dialogue. Oh, yeah, there's everything. definitely, definitely, um, yeah, and yeah. branching in, in, in a lot of instances. And of course, we can take our zipper and then use that on her. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, you know, there's various, um, you know, innuendo in the game. If you take a look at that sign, and I just pointed to the sign on the door in the back in case you guys uh, couldn't see me. Yeah, really, really intuitive point-click interface. Just kind of what you want. You just soak in the room. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when, when are you guys aiming to get this out? Uh, we originally were supposed to get it out actually in October, right? But since um, since the Kickstarters uh, went way so over, above, and beyond, you know, we said Q1 2013, right? Right. Um, but then, of course, we ran into the snag of uh, you know, all the narration and all the voiceover. And then getting all that localized, we're doing seven languages. Wow, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, and we've got a, a retail deal as well. It'll be at retail all over the world. Oh, okay. We just signed that last week. We've been in negotiations with one retail, you know, publisher or retail, I guess, distributor yeah. worldwide. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, we're making a box, a special collector's box edition, but that's not the one that's going to retail. They're making their own box with our approved artwork and key art, if you will. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, um, you know, people look at the Naga Hide door on the right. That's obviously, um, you know, the way to get into the back room. Right. Um, but uh, there's another back room. I'm not really supposed to show you this because... Oh, Touch K exclusive, boys. <laughs> this is a room behind the bar. And they told me not to go back here. So I'm not, you know, I'm not guaranteeing anything's working. But... Um, you can see some innuendo unload here. Right. Um, you can see Bush, Pud. Bush gives you great head. You know, the John. Wow. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can... Now I'm really... They're going to really kill me when they see this shit online now. <laughs> All right. So, you know, you can actually see on the wall some of the graffiti. Oh, interesting. The, the old puzzle was you sit on the... You, you go to the John and you read one of the magazines... And oh right! You get the password right. Right. But obviously that's not the case anymore because we don't want people, you know, being able to zip through the game just because they right. played it when they were a kid or whatever. We just memorized it. Yeah. So let's look, use the look icon here and see if we can get some some of Josh's great descriptions. Thinking of grabbing it this time. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Nice. So I, I knew he. Had, I knew he, there were like cool descriptions. There. I just didn't know what icon it was for. So uh, buried under there are some juicy magazines. Seventy is still still spunky. Goofus and Gallant's Guide to Swinging. Balmy Ishmael. <laughs> So anyway, you can see like a ring on the uh, counter over there. Take the ring. That was an obvious one. Right. Um, a right. lot of the a lot of the puzzles are not obvious. So, um, 
I'm not supposed to show you anymore. Than That's that. all right. This is this is perfectly fine. So again, your the game is hitting Q1 2013. Is that what you're thinking? So uh, yeah. So yeah. we were always debating on how we were going to tell the public. So I guess we'll right. tell them now. Okay, great. Um, the Kickstarter people are going to be pissed because they're going to want to know when the, that the game slipped. It's going to be at the earliest, earliest May 15th, but we're, we're realistically we're shooting for May 31st. Okay. And it's just because we have so much voiceover we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that, just a ton of voiceover. I mean, like that. here's the deal. Jan Rabson, the guy, the guy Al wanted as Larry, yeah. um, couldn't do the GDC demo. Uh, oh, yeah. For the for the PC and Mac versions or the desktop versions, I guess, because we're doing Linux and yeah, um, and so he was at San Diego Comic Con on Thursday, and we got Al on the phone. We're like, Al, you know, you've known this guy forever. He, he's like, Oh, I was there when his kid was born. We're good friends. I was like, I got to call in a favor, yeah. get him into the studio and get him to, to record the voice while he's here. He's in San Antonio. It's like an hour far away from Austin, you know. Yeah. So we rented a car for Jan Rabson. He drove up to the studio. We met him at the studio. He recorded all the lines for the GDC demo, and then yeah. he drove back to San Antonio yeah. and then went, went home. Just just to have voiceover. So, again, it is coming to iPad, but it'll, it'll be an extra pack just because we don't want... Right. Even if they don't buy, if they don't want the voiceover, why should right. they have to download two gigs anyway, right? Right, so, yeah, right. So, yeah. so, Very cool. Well, thank you for showing us this today. Yeah, no problem. There's all the rooms, but again, oh, nice. we should just stop it there. 